is Dr. Anita Mishra from Biani Girls College. Today I am going to give you a lecture on animal cell culture on behalf of GuruKPU.com. First, let me know, let me know you that what is animal cell culture. Animal cell culture is growing the cells in the laboratory conditions, in the in vitro conditions. Okay. Now, generally uh, animal cells grow in a living organisms. Uh, animal cells divide in a living organisms, they grow and divide. But if we are go going to culture and grow those cells in a media, in the laboratory condition, in the in vitro conditions, then that technique is known as animal cell culture. Okay. Now, you, uh, you must have heard that uh, there is microbial cell culture and there is plant tissue culture also. Okay. And uh, in the same way, there is animal cell culture also. Now, what is the difference between microbial cell culture, plant tissue culture and animal cell culture? Generally, microbes uh, grow very easily. They uh, propagate very easily. They multiply very easily. So, microbial cell culture is very easy as compared to the animal cell culture. And also, the plant tissue culture is very easy, uh, very much easy and uh, very well developed as compared to the animal cell culture because plant cells have a property of totipotency which is comparatively ma much more well developed in plants uh, than animal cells. Okay? It is uh, quite difficult to grow animal cells in the laboratory conditions as compared to the microbes and the plants. Okay. Now, when we are going to grow the animal cells or any type of cells in the in vitro conditions, in the laboratory conditions, we have to culture the cells, we have to grow the cells in the artificial conditions. Okay. When we are going to grow the cells in the artificial conditions, we have to provide them two things. The first thing is the media, proper media and second thing is the proper sterile conditions okay now when uh, we have to why we have to pro provide them the proper sterile conditions because uh, generally microbes can grow very easily on a media okay so when we are going to provide a media to grow the animal cells the microbes will overcome the animal cells, they will grow on that media and our desired cells will not grow. So, we have to provide a proper sterile conditions during culturing of the animal cells. And other than that, we have to provide a proper media for animal cells culture. And the major constituent of the animal cell culture media are nitrogen sources, which are the growth, uh, pro growth factors, uh, uh, which are the proteins, uh, salts which maintain the osmolarity, carbon sources which, uh, which provide the energy to the cells for the growth. Okay. Other than these, there are some growth factors, we provide growth, we provide growth factors. Okay. Now, growth factors initiate the growth of the cells. Okay. So, the major constituents of the media are nitrogen sources, salts, carbon sources and other than these sources growth factors are also present in the media. Okay. Now, when we are going to uh, learn about the basics of the animal cell culture, I am going to tell you the basics of the animal cell culture, introductory part of the animal cell culture. When we are going to learn the basics of the animal cell culture, we should know three terms. Okay. One is the organ culture, one is the tissue culture and one is the cell culture. What is the difference between the organ culture, tissue culture and the cell culture? Actually, uh, organ culture is culturing an organ on a media. Okay. Tissue culture is culturing a tissue, tissue that is an aggregate of same type of cells uh, on a proper nutrient media under the sterile conditions. And culturing the cells means culturing the unit part of the living organism, the building block of the living organism on a culture media that is the cell culture. Okay. 
Now, what is the difference between these three things? The basic technique is same that we are providing the media in the proper sterile conditions. But when we are going to culture a single cell which is a building block of the living organism, it is much more easier as compared to the tissue culture and the organ culture. Okay? It is easier to culture a single cell on a media as compared to the tissues and the organs. When we are going to grow a tissue on a media, the level of complexity increases. Okay? So, the, uh, the technique becomes more difficult and it, it becomes more difficult to culture the tissues. And we are going to uh, grow a complete organ, it is much more difficult as compared to the tissue culture. For example, say we are going to uh, produce insulin uh, by animal cell culture, then we can grow the cells which are producing the insulin to get the insulin hormone. Okay? That will be easier as compared to growing the tissues taking the tissues from the liver which uh, which are produ pancreas sorry which are producing the insulin hormone okay now this tissue culture is also much more easier as compared to the organ culture if you want to grow a complete pancreas on a media that will be much more difficult as compared to the tissue culture and the cell culture okay why it is difficult because the level of uh, physiology, the complexity of physiology, the requirements increase, uh, the requirements become more complex as we are increasing the level of hierarchy of the living organism. A living organism is made of organ, an organ is made of tissues and tissues are made of cells. The cell is a basic unit, the level of hierarchy is low and the base requirements are also less as compared to the tissues and tissues have less requirements as compared to the organs. So, the, la the complexity increases. It is much more difficult to culture an organ as compared to the cells. Just generally, cells are grown on a nutrient media. Okay. Now, um, I want to tell you what is the basic process that we are going to use while culturing a cell. First, we take the organ from which we are going to take the cell okay we uh, break the uh, uh, we want to br uh, get the cells that we want to grow on the nutrient media for that we use an enzyme known as trypsin enzyme trypsin enzyme is a uh, protease enzyme which breaks the extracellular material extracellular proteins proteins are joined to each other by the extracellular material that is made of proteins they are joined by that material and Trypsin enzyme break that extracellular material and the process is known as trypsinization. Okay? This extracellular material uh, is removed and then we get the single cell. We grow the single cell on the nutrient media. Generally, we grow the cells uh, by placing the cell on a, we can grow the cell by placing the cell on a nutrient media uh, which has been put in a petri plate. But for animal cell culture, we uh, we use this particular type of setup. Here, this is a uh, bottle. This is a petri dish like bottle uh, in which nutria, nutrient media is present here. Okay? And there is a cap which can be removed. Okay? So, uh, we, we have put, we have already put nutrient media over here and we are going to uh, grow our cell over here. Okay? When we are going to grow our cell over here, we remove this cap and put the, our cell in this media and then culture the cell and then uh, close the cap. Okay? Now, generally, the which type of media is used in animal cell culture? In animal cell culture, we can use solid me semi-solid semi media or a liquid media. Generally, liquid media is used in animal cell culture. We can use semi-solid media also because and uh, animal cells are generally anchorage dependent cells. There are two types of cells during culturing, anchorage independent cells and the anchorage, anchorage independent cells and the anchorage dependent cells. Okay? Now, the anchorage independent cells are the transformed cells, they are the cancerous cells. Okay? And the normal cells are the anchorage dependent cells, they require the anchorage. Okay? So, Cells grow on the surface, the bottom surface of this, uh, this petri plate like setup or uh, on the upper layer of the media. 
okay they require a surface to grow when there is a mo uh, mono layer of cells has grown we transfer the cells to a different media and that is known as subculturing that is known as subculturing okay when we are doing subculturing we are transferring uh, because uh, when the cells are growing on a media the cells become confluent they become attached to each other and because of contact with each other there is a process called contact inhibition that pro prevent their growth okay that, that prevent them from growing uh, further and because of this contact inhibition after a particular stage we have to remove the cells from that particular plate and we have to transfer those cells in a different fresh media for their further growth and this is known as transfer or subculturing after subculturing uh the cell uh, stop growing the cells stop growing uh, after a particular stage we, we keep on transferring the cells to the fresh media over a number of times or after a number of times the cells does not uh, keep on growing continuously because cells we are uh, which are growing in uncontrolled way are cancerous cells but normal cells after particular divisions show senescence they stop growing okay now this process uh, has been uh, given by a scientist known uh, by the scientists hayflick and moorland and this phenomena is called hayflick phenomena what is hayflick phenomena hayflick phenomena states that uh, when we are growing cells okay and we are uh, we are uh, the cells will grow increase their number cells the cells will increase their number and uh, when the cell we have grown the cells on a media the cells uh, have become confluent then we transfer those cells on the uh, new media a fresh media uh, when we transfer uh, the cells on the fresh media they will again grow they will keep on growing okay they will keep on growing when we are transferring the cells to a fresh media up to a particular stage after that particular stage the cell growth will decline the cell growth will decline because of a normal process okay because of the normal programming of the cell and this process is called the hayflick phenomena okay so these are all the basics of the animal cell culture i hope you have liked my video you have understood the basics of animal cell culture please like subscribe and comment on my video keep watching gurukpu.com thanks